a lot of people need to know how it all started because I believe your story is a good story. Let's see your version. Well, Sean, it's been 20 years. So, okay, my version of it. Okay. Let's see. So, I recently uh, moved to the Oak Brook office and I, um, you know, uh, walked into, a, at that time it was called White Hen. Yeah, White Hen Pantry. Not, yeah. Which is like a 7 Eleven. Now it's owned by 7 Eleven, yeah. Yeah. And then there's Sean behind the counter, and here I roll up at what time? Was it like 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock, probably. And then I see this little kid working behind the counter, and I was like, I don't know how we even got the conversation going. I was like, I, the only, the last, the only thing I really remember was, if you ever want to drive this kind of car, you mm-hmm. need to call me and come in for an interview. Yes. So see, that's her That's her version. Yeah. Right? So my version is, look, she used to come in, not all the time, but it was right by the office. Right? Yeah. And that was one of the stores I was a district manager at. So I would go there and check it out sometimes. Mm-hmm. See how it was, see if it was clean, all that. How were you a district manager at 19? I was started working in there when I was freshman in high school. Okay. So... Okay. Um, you used to come in all the time and get a pack of cigarettes. Oh my smoke. God! You have to this like back in the day before. I don't this smoke now. I don't smoke yes, now. This was before that though. You used to come in all the time, and then you would always give me your business card, right? And say, "Hey, you want to make a lot of money?" So you sure this was not the first time? Was no, it? this oh, was a couple times. Bit. Okay, a couple times. Because right. you know, Dima, she likes to. Um, she wants people to she's always recruiting she's always trying to give people a shot and people like that and a lot of times it's based off like your energy right you feel somebody's energy or what you think and then you say i think they'd be good at this right and you used to give me a business card all the time and say you can make a lot of money call me right and then you're right you're driving a white mercedes silver was it yeah it's a silver one right yeah and nice car and you would always say you could drive something like that right i'm like all right yeah you're whatever lady right and then one day i got a new wallet i was cleaning out one of my or the wallets and i found your business card and i said hey let's give it a shot and now yeah 20 years later probably the best decision i've ever made at least so when you came in for the interview you came in an office. I forgot even the decor. It's I was so into decor. No, it was back then. It was the real world decor. <laughs> Remember that? That, that, that was the vibe back then. Yes. It was real world, and you had um, we had red, a red wall, yellow, right, green, different things like that in the office. Yeah. So I came in. I thought it was always a cool place. It was always hip. People were talking. The energy, and I think that's what. I was thinking, I can do this. I know I could do this. So. And Sean started off as a telemarketer, yep. generating leads, and then we seen some potential in him, and then started selling mm-hmm. merchant services, and then slowly but surely started managing and leading. And um, I can say we've been through so much in 20 years. I mean, it. We could literally have a reality show yeah. within the last 20 years of v- uh, your success at VMS. And I just want to tell you and let everybody know I'm so proud of you. I mean, if I, I could start crying, but I'm going to hold myself because I look at you more as I've always looked at you and, and a lot of our, our employees that have, have been here for many, many years. But in the 20 year mark, you are a a monumental part of VMS and I don't think VMS would be VMS today without you and the reason why I say that is you know you you really genuinely care about every aspect of the company and I same with like me and Danush and everybody else I believe that it's instilled in us it's like vms has become part of us it's not just about making money and you know all of that it's really about uh growing and caring for small businesses and constantly coming up with different ideas and strategies i mean we've had meetings where literally they've lasted for six hours in a in in a conference room and you know walk away We, we might have different opinions and and um, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I know that your intentions have always been pro VMS and uh, without you, I just want you to know, I don't 
think we would be we are where we are today. And you've you've led so many people. And I think one of the biggest things for me, uh, the last three years that has really helped me um, kind of let go of 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 stuff is saying, you know what, let him run with it and um, texting it like you know. 12 o'clock, you know, 11 o'clock at night when an idea comes up and stuff like that. Just kind of letting you evolve. And I feel like the last three years, letting you evolve, you have, uh, I feel like the last three years you've exceeded my expectations. And, you know, that's one thing that I have learned myself is that, you know, um, when an, an employee also is, I'm not the only one invested, you're invested. So we're, we're both invested. And, you know, you've never really let me down in the last 20 years. Um, we've had some really intense arguments um, based on what I believe and what you believe and what we both believe. And, you know, at the end of the day, I think that what truly matters is that we both care about the success of the company and the success of the people that we employ uh, in BMS. And, you know, one of the best um, tr- traits so one of the best skills I think that you have is uh, when you are in a training room and and when you're speaking uh, and how you engage everyone's attention um, your leadership skills um, are amazing you know people look at you and they're intrigued with what you have to say and you make the training so interesting and you make people want to learn and want to be successful and I think it comes from me but um I mean I've taught them a lot yeah you've taught yourself too you know you've developed yourself and not only that you develop yourself but you develop so many people I think we've probably hired in the last 20 20 years years, thousands thousands of people and you were the face of each train most of the training classes um within those years of you know as soon as you became a a manager so thank you for the 20 years I love you cheers to another coffee cheers to another 20 years absolutely absolutely and continued success you deserve it all thank you so much it's going to be hard for the people to really speak up you have to make the hard decision sometime and I think that's what we're going to have to do. So I guess we'll see.